This is BBC News. I'm Anita McVeigh. The headlines at midday. Also this hour, over 100,000 people ring in the new year in London. Hello, a very good afternoon to you and welcome to BBC News. The chief executive of the British catering company Compass and four members of his family have been killed in a seaplane crash in Australia. Local police confirmed that Richard Cousins was on board the plane which crashed into a river north of Sydney yesterday. He died with his two sons Edward and William, his fiancée Emma Bowden and her 11-year-old daughter Heather. The Australian pilot Gareth Morgan was also killed. Phil Mercer reports from Sydney. Phil Mercer reporting. Here, scores of people who have travelled to Liverpool to celebrate the new year have had to spend the night in temporary shelters after a fire in a multi-storey car park next to the city's Echo Arena destroyed more than a thousand vehicles. Steve Saul reports. Iranian state media says 10 people have now been killed in anti-government protests in Iran. The Archbishop of Canterbury has paid tribute to emergency workers in his New Year's Day message. Justin Welby said 2018 could be defined either by human suffering or the compassionate response to it. Here's our religion editor, Martin Bashir. In a defiant New Year's message, the North Korean leader has said that he has a nuclear button on his desk. Kim Jong-un says that now his country has developed the capability to hit all of the U.S. mainland with its nuclear weapons, Washington would never start a war. He added he wouldn't order the use of weapons unless his country's security is threatened. Robert Kelly is professor of political science at South Korea's Pusan National University. He told my colleague Lucy Hawkins that Kim Jong-un chose his words carefully to make an impact. Professor Robert Kelly, uh, news coming into us of more stabbings. We were telling you earlier about uh, the Met Police investigating the fatal stabbings of four men in separate incidents in London yesterday and the early hours of this morning. We're now hearing that five people have been stabbed in Sheffield overnight after an altercation in the city centre in the Carver Street area around 2.20 this morning. Uh, when police arrived, uh, five men in their 20s were taken to hospital. Three were found to have superficial injuries, but two of the men were told suffered life-threatening injuries and remain in hospital in a critical but stable condition. Uh, the police are appealing for anyone with information about the uh, altercation to get in touch with them. Now, China is banning most imports of waste plastics in a bid to cut in Beijing. Now, millions of people around the world have been celebrating the start of 2018. More than 100,000 ticket holders watched London's midnight fireworks show from the banks of the River Thames. And Hogmanay celebrations went ahead in Edinburgh, despite earlier travel and weather concerns, as Simon Clemerson reports. <laughs> 